Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play the Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX. Now we are in the fourth dungeon, so we gotta get the fourth item. So let's get on doing that. So destroy these guys. Okay. Again, you have to use your shield to beat them. So we can go through here and get the compass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate that it always tells you what you gotta do. By now, this is the fourth dungeon by now, I would think. It would figure we would already, or should already know what to do. Or what the compass does, rather. So, cut the rock's feather, and we can fall into the water. Okay. <laughs> There we go. Up it is, and we get a small key. Alright. That opened the locked door for us, obviously. So, let's go ahead and go. <clears throat> Kill this uh, tech tight here. And go back out. Okay, open this door. Kill the tech tight. And. Oops. That was kind of dumb. <clears throat> okay. Get over here without falling in the water, Link. Gosh. I know that's my fault. I can't blame it on Link since I'm like controlling him. That was the tech type's fault. He hit me and knocked me in the water. And I can't go through there because I don't have any more keys, so I'm going to have to go back this way. Watch out for the spark enemy. If you want to, we can go ahead and go get this chest over here. That we just saw. And open it. And we get a stone beak. So it does the same thing it does in every other dungeon. So one second. Alright. <clears throat> Go down here. Is there anything here? No, I don't think there is. So let's go. Gotta go this way. And we can uh, jump up. Get that. And kill him. Uh, I don't think there's anything we're supposed to do with that. So we can uh, equip those. And we can run jump without doing that. Okay. So run and jump. Arr. Uh, and jump! Alright. So, we can uh, equip our power bracelet. And uh, do that. Okay. And again, we need to equip this. We can run and jump. Alright. So, ouch. We're going to need a key, so let's walk around. I figured I'd get. A little lost in this because that lost us. Ah, that's right. I think we need to not do that. We need to run. And there we go. So here we can pick up these again. And chop. And by the way, of that these are bombs. And blow this up. Oh. I'll fix and lay a bomb there. Stop it. Okay. Get this out of the way. And open it up for another small key. Alright. So. Uh, watch out for the anti fairy. And again. Put the boots at the rock feather. And jump. Not that. And jump over again. Alright. So we're making pro progress here. Okay. Go this way again. We need to equip our sword and shield again. Oops, not that one. There we go. So, kill him. But even though I'm not feeling great tonight, I decided to, or today, I 
decided to go ahead and do it anyways because I figure I've spent way too many days not doing this part. So I figure it was time to stop being lazy and get on the ball. So that's what I'm doing. And go ahead again and go back over here. I don't know if that was necessary, but eh, do what you gotta do, I suppose. Put the rocks feather and either wait for them to move or jump. Or both. Uh, okay. So I'll jump back over here and go up. And we won't be able to get that uh, chest over there until later, so we'll be coming back to it. So remember that chest. I'll try to remember too because I forgot last time. Anyways, let's go ahead and go up. And kill these uh, Zoles again. Nah, hate them. Okay. Kill the Zoles. And again, we're going to need equipped our boots and rock feather. And jump. Ugh, there we go. Alright, so. You know what? I think I'm going to wind up having to go back again. I just realized that I don't have a key for this. So. Put the piece of power. And again, like I said, we don't have a key here, so I should have went somewhere else. Okay. So, let's uh, put these again. Oh, excuse me. Okay, so. And we don't need to do that. Or that. Okay, so. Go ahead uh oops, home button up there and put the shield and jump. <sighs> Need to equip the rocks feather. Alright. So jump and jump. Go back this way again. And I don't believe there's anything in here anymore. Nope. Oops, oh well. Just uh, oh should have done that, darn. Uh So, so go him again and go back up. Go there again. And then you go over here. Ah, no. So, go up here. Then go this way. No, not this way. Okay. I'm probably going to be lost here for a second. So, I remember exactly where I need to go. So, let's see. Let's see what I'm here. Ah! Why didn't I think. Oh, whoops. Oh. That's a dungeon map. That's not going to help me. Okay, Lord have mercy. I'm all full of mess today. Did this dungeon, now I'm getting lost. Well, I'll eventually figure it out, because this is a let's play. I believe I'm allowed to make mistakes on a let's play. Especially if it's a blind let's play, like this one is. So, I think it's more real when let's players have issues, so... It's okay. Because not everybody knows everything. Especially not me. Okay, so I should have went up here. See? That was my mistake. I forgot. Oh well. After this, my mistakes should be very few. So more or less, remember everything I gotta do from here on out. I remember where I can and can't go at certain points, so let's go ahead and jump and get this heart and go back. So let's go this way. Let's keep following the path backwards. And again, we're going to have to equip both the boots and the rocks feather. Obviously, and go that way. Okay. And let that dude fall just because we don't like him. All right. So now, 
go back around to these guys, even though we don't really want to. Okay, right there, and wait for them to come and try to run towards us like that. There we go. All right. Let's do that with him. So, kill him. Get out of the way. And kill him. Alright. So, uh, hold on a second. Put my thing though. Yeah, you sure you won't. Oh well. Let's, uh, put this. Oh, that's right. That's where I put it. So, and, and sorry, I'm kind of <coughs> fighting off a little cold today, so sorry if I sound all stuffy and all that, but I figured, like I said, I figured I might as well go ahead and get this out of the way since I haven't done it in a while, so that's what I'm doing. Oops. Got to equip the sword. All right. So, so ooh, we got the piece of power. All right. So, get the heart piece there, and here we can kill these guys. And you'll notice a key drop down, uh, but we can't get that till a little bit later in the game, so we'll be worrying about that later. Okay, oops, I don't need to worry about that. Alright, so uh, I will need my shield though. So, that is it. The glint of the tile will be your guide. Yep, we'll figure out what that means shortly. Um, we can go ahead and equip the rocks feather here, and we can jump. All right, so watch out for. I believe that's this game's version of P hat. Watch out for them. Let's get to you, <laughs> chicken. All right, now go up here and kill these guys. Open this chest, and it's fake, and we get that thing. All right, this one we'll have to worry about it a little bit later. Open this, and we get a smoky. All right, so from here, we'll have to well, let's not do that because this there's nothing we can really do about that. So we have to go back around. So. Oh, not there. There's nothing we can do there. All right. So again, we can go back this way and fall into the water. Go back this way and this way, and just keep on going and chop things as we need to. So, <clears throat> oops, oops, get out of the way. Okay. So again, we can just keep going up. And we go through here, and we'll fight the mini boss of this dungeon. So <clears throat> sometimes we'll double back around. If he does that, then we'll just have to try to take him out. So ah, there we go. Go back right this way. No, go that way. Okay. So just keep on chopping at him. I think it, I believe it takes eight hits to kill him. So we'll just keep doing it as long as we need to. So still not beaten yet. And he's going back around this way. Here we go. So you defeat him. And he leaves a warp portal for you to return to the front of the dungeon, which I'll possibly be using here shortly. Okay, for this we have to use our power bracelet and hold it. And uh, put the Pegasus boots and run. There we go, made it. All right, so kill these things. 
and go up here and get the flippers. All right, so with that, we look at our map, and there's quite a few chests that we missed. Um, all right, let me try to get one of them that I know I can get right now. Uh, hold on. Let me use the power bracelet. Oh here. All right. So, go ahead and go back in here. And go up. <coughs> and, uh, get our shield back out. And kill this guy again. Go here. And, uh, and do that again. Ah! Get off there. The zones. Ah. Hate these things. So these enemies won't hurt you. They're more of an annoyance enemy. And boy, are they annoying. They're annoying me right now. Every time I get one on me, it annoys me. So they're doing their job. That's nice to know. I have to let Gannett, uh, actually, I don't remember if Gannett's in this game or not. But, uh, if he is, I'll have to let him know later that his minions are doing their job of annoying me. So, anyways, now we can swim. Get over here, and we get 50 rupees. Very nice indeed. Then pick up this rock, and there's a fairy in it. <laughs> okay, go this way. Look out, because I believe that's really all we can get at the moment. So... <clears throat> Let's go ahead and go. Uh, here. And, uh, get away from me, Tech Tight. Dang! I wanted that. Err. Uh, hate when that happens. I suppose I probably could have gone to the water and, uh, what do you call it? And dove and got there, but, uh, uh I'd rather not bother with it. So, go ahead and do this again. And equip these. Let's just do that just to make it a little easier on me. There we go. Oh. Okay. Ah. Guardian acorn. Alright. So with that. Oh. Get droopy. Okay. So these guys are a little difficult to beat. Uh, get off me. Alright. Both the flies that are flying around me and these things is what I'm talking to. So. Uh, I'm guessing these are helm sores, but I'm not sure exactly what these things are called. But they're really annoying. I hate enemies with shells on them. For the passion. Alright, now we can go ahead and get this heart thing, which I'm going to do right now. So, this is what I was talking about by the glint. Keep doing that and open that door. But we'll be needing to also use <coughs> it here in a minute. <coughs> okay, so we can move this out of the way and we can. Okay. Actually, uh, let's see. Okay, so what we need to do is go there, and there, and there, and here, and here, and that will make a door appear. But I believe we need to do a couple other things first because there's some chests that we're missing around here. So go ahead and see if we can get them. Okay. Uh, can't do that. If I remember correctly, those stairs that we just got will be taking us to there. So we don't have to worry about it. Alright. So step on the switch and go up. And we can. Um, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. I already got it equipped. Okay. Oh. Oh, great. Thanks a lot. Okay, first we have to 
get these things out of the way. Die, tech, tech. All right. So, move this one up here. And get that one and that one. Over this. And we get 50 rupees. All right. So, with that, we can go this way. Get up here. And avoid those enemies. I can't remember if we get anything. No, don't go that way. All right. So, with this, you kill the star enemy and the hooded Stalfos and go down. Alright. So, with that, we can jump on this rock enemy here. Go this way. <clears throat> and now we can finally pick up the key since we have the flippers. And there we go. We'll be using that here in a second. So, okay, go this way and here and go up. Alright. So, with that, they can kill these enemies again. The uh, respawning enemies. One thing that I think every gamer hates in video games. Anyways, <clears throat> so I go this way. And well, we'll have to go back down, but we'll have to get through these tech tanks first. Alright. So these tech tanks will stop hitting me. I'll go up and step on the switch and go back up again. And get that. And open this. Alright. So we'll go down. And. Hmm, okay. Wait. There's still a chest somewhere, but I'm not exactly sure how to get to it. So maybe have to figure that out in a minute. Kill these cheap, cheap enemies. I'm guessing that's what they're called. <clears throat> that's what they call the Mario series, so I'll just call them that here too. And we'll go up. Alright, and here we are at the ball store, but wait a second, I want to figure out how to get that because I'm a kind of a completionist when it comes to video games and I want to be able to get all the chests in here, so let's go back real quick. If you don't want to, you can go ahead and fight that boss through that door, but I'd much rather go ahead and... Uh, Try to figure out how to get this uh, ah, thing. So we can go this way and kill him. All right. So we'll go back up these stairs that we made up here. Okay, and we'll see these thwomp black enemies. And wait for them to fall and go here. Okay, so then jump and oh, hold on. Oh, make the fall. Oops, sorry. Ah, I know I can do it because I've done it before. Ah, almost made it, but not quite. Ah, come on. There we go. And jump. And go up here. Alright, so here we go. And open this. And we get... Well, we had to go that way. <laughs> get the nightmare key. Okay. So, we wouldn't have been able to get in there anyways. My bad. Sorry for uh, misleading you, but I forgot. So, let's get these enemies out of the way. Die. Okay. And thanks for filling up my heart there, buddy. Alright. Jump. So, but I guess technically I didn't mislead you since I forgot that we haven't got the ma the mash key, the nightmares key yet. So, sorry. All right. So, again, we'll just retrace our steps here, and there we go. And this boss is pretty easy. Um, he has an attack that if you do quick, if you kill him quick enough, he won't be able to use which I didn't last time I don't know if I will be able to this time or not but what it basically is is he'll run into the wall and make rocks fall down so that's an enemy that he'll do but I'll do more describing about that when I get to him all right so I'll go down and here he is bloop bloop glub glub I forgot what he's called Oh food bloop bloop okay so if you attack him enough times, he will die, obviously. 
And he also have little bitty fish come out at you. So, oh, that's his attack right there. Makes rocks fall down. So you can get out of the way of it. Oh, did it twice that time. We only did it one last time I fought him. So. Okay, excuse me. Sorry for all that sneezing. But anyway, it'll be destroyed. And the piece of heart will come down. Our right, piece of heart. The heart container. So, get it. And the victory music will keep playing until you get to it. So, go up. And you will get the surf, surf, surf heart, I believe it's called. Yes. So, let's get it. You got the surf heart. Bay. Your road goes into the bay. So that's it. With that, we are now officially halfway through this game. So, it's kind of sad that this game will be ending, uh, half, that we're halfway through it, but we'll get on to, be, uh, to not, well, not to not say better the games, because uh, Zelda, to me, is the best franchise ever in existence. But anyways, we'll, next time we will try to go towards the uh, fifth dungeon. So, until next time, thank you for watching, everybody, and have a good day.